Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap has got the usual mixture of machining, welding and a little bit of plasma cutting. There's also quite a lot of your meal come in. I'll be sure this in part one. A lot of people don't like to watch your meal, meal. <laughs> so if you don't want to watch it, just fast forward. I've had quite a few names come in for the monthly giveaway. If you sent your name in and you haven't had an email in return within a week, please send it in again. It means I haven't got it. Um, all I need is an email with your name, that's my email address up there, your full name like John Mills, not just John, your name goes into book it and we're having one big draw every month instead of a weekly one, I've got some really good prizes, some of today's of your mail will be going to get given away next month, um, that's the idea of it, people send me things they don't want, if I don't want it, I'll give it away, anyway, I hope you enjoy the first part of tonight's video. This is the your meal package that come in. Uh, it's been sent in from John and Mark Gould. I have had a look inside of here and there is some fantastic items, a lot of which we're going to get given away or repurposed. First thing is a set of ball gauges. I don't know what make they are, but they do feel quite nice. They're nice and smooth. Some of the cheap ones are really horrible. These, these do feel quite nice. I use these all the time. Obviously that metric or imperial. They're probably going to get given away possibly next week or the week after I've given away because I have got a set. And like I say it's pointless having another set just to line a draw. They might as well be put to some use. Right in here we have a set of squares. Once again, there's no manufacturer's mark on them, but they look quite nicely made. I have got two or three different squares, but I haven't got a set. So I'm going to check these out, and I'll probably keep these ones and give mine away. Because these are in a nice little case, so I can look after them. Mr. Two Euro, 25mm make, in really good condition. I have got exactly the same micrometer, which I use quite a lot. So, once again, this will be given away as a giveaway prize. Absolutely set up spot on as well, going to zero there. Which is who you are. Which appears to have had a lot of use. It's not working. The, the dial's not working. I'm sure that bit there shouldn't be sticking out. This looks like a, an ideal thing for my friend Bob to have a go at. Uh, Bob hasn't done any videos for a while. Just for the way things have been going with me really. So it might be nice to get Bob to come up here and do a video of stripping this. And repairing it because it is something that I would use quite a lot because I've gone I've gone metric now. It's got an analog counter on there as well as the the dial gauge. Outside Vernia. Nice big readings on it so you can see them, it's imperial. Metric on the other side. Once again, this will probably be a giveaway item, otherwise, it's just going to lie in the, in the drawer in here forever. Quite interesting the way these work. Anybody that's like old school and uses slide rules know how they work. Uh, might be well worth doing a little video to show how these work because you can often pick them up at flea markets and car boot sales because nobody wants them anymore. But well, it is in a nice box. Real quality item. If 
that's part of a depth setup. I'm not quite sure what it's off. Ruler goes in there. Right, and last but not least, which are two of you. And that's a ball gauge. I haven't got a ball gauge. clock gauge on the top and has a little adapter on the bottom you put different size pieces in there are the pieces there for measuring your balls would appear to go from 10 to 18 mil but I don't know I don't know that much about them I'm sure my friend Bob will pull his right on it nasty crack in the back of the case there at the end of the day it will have a real good quality DTI on the top of it Thanks very much for all these items. I can assure you that the will either be given away or put to good use. They won't just lie in a cupboard. And I certainly would be selling any of it. You don't sell things that people give you as gifts. At least I don't. I was tempted to make this on the on the iPad layers, but I've decided to wait until it's all set up properly on this new cabinet. Simply gripping that in the choke won't give enough rigidity. Rigidity? Simply gripping that in the choke won't be stiff enough to allow us to machine the handle. So I'm going to drill and tap that quarter you on F, screw it into the end of a shoulder, then I can machine that quite merrily. We'll face this off and then drill it and tap the quarter you on F. and drill for quarter the ONF 5.5 mil these are actually the drills that I'm giving away in the monthly giveaway I bought a few sets of them purely simply to give away they were on special offer they're a really good drill as you can see that's in the skin this we're all the as well. things down a bit, a bit more than that, better,
Bastard. Those are the, the drugs I'm giving away. I've just dropped the bastard thing everywhere now. But they are a nice set of drills. Just a little counter ball. I'm just going to shorten these threads, that's not quite deep enough, I don't need that much thread anyway. I'm just going to machine this freehand, sort of manual CNC, more or less copy that, it can be whatever shape I want it to be. Starting to form some sort of shape. A little bit more time, and we'll have it there. To build a little bit on the end, I've got a very short piece of every tape, so it can't possibly get wrapped round very carefully. You've got to be aware of what you're doing. No jewelry, no long shirt sleeves. You don't want to be getting wrapped in there. I'm going to get a little bit warm there now. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's not quite the same shape as a iPad one. It's more like a, a John shape one. That's the shape I want, not the shape I've got. A little bit, there's one little mark on there, I'll try and get that out.
I'll do a take sure. I like that. I like it a lot. Proper, proper bell end. <laughs> People wonder how I keep my layers so clean and tidy. Well, <laughs> this is real world. It's not normally as bad as this. The next job obviously is to tidy it all away. Right, that's 25 minutes spent with a brush or hoover, a bit of clean rag and some WD-40. So now the next time I come to work on this, which will be tomorrow night, it'll be a much more pleasant experience than raking around among all that lot. <laughs>